The parent continued to ask why the child could not play in the PE area. Public comment is encouraged at regular public school board meetings. Right now, here in Indian River County, members of the public who sign up to speak can step up to the mic and discuss any agenda and non-agenda item they like. But board member Dr. Peggy Jones wants to focus on the school issues of the day. She would like for speakers with non-agenda items to speak before the meeting, say between 5 and 5.30. And if they run out of time, they can continue after the board meeting. She says consent and action items that are on the agenda should be the only items discussed during the meeting. No matter what, we still want to hear from the public. That's not the issue. For me, it's doing the work of the board and not starting at nine and 10 o'clock at night with you know, political platforms, because they're gonna keep coming. She says issues such as textbook adoptions and mass mandates have come up during board meetings and new issues will come up all the time, but she wants to focus on educating the children and supporting the staff. The policy that really sticks with me is the responsibility of the students in the public school system lies with the board. And that means a lot to me. And People having different political platforms, you can talk before or after the meeting, that's fine. And again, consent in action during the meeting, that's fine. But we've got to do this for our students and our staff. And if not, we're not, we're not serving them properly. And she says those proposed changes are under a 30-day public review period. The board expected to uh, vote on this proposal at their November 16th meeting. Reporting live in Indian River County, Angela Rozier, WBBF 25 News. <laughs>